Alrighty, well, Facebook crashed, and so we had to. Are back. We are back, and we're gonna move along here, so I can get going and do my do my thug fizzle. So next, we are going to go into some mattifying primer. I like to use that on the base of the face, really around the cheeks and the nose. I'm just gonna use a little bit because I'm gonna come in with some more of that with my Tamira concoction here in a little bit. I am a mixologist. So really make sure because you know I look some days and like you completely forget to put foundation or anything on your nose. I mean it doesn't look bad. It's actually kind of cute, but that's not what we're going for here. So Facebook crashed just a second ago, so if you're joining us again, sorry about that. You know how it do, though. So we're going to do, on the brush, we're going to do a nice, generous pump of the mattifying primer. I absolutely love this combination. We're going to do a pump, or like a slight pump, not a huge, huge pump of the mattifying primer. You could also do the glow drops, but we may come in with those a little later, so I'm not going to. We're going to do, uh, it's, I keep thinking I'm out, but it's really just this pump is getting tired, I think, of the 500C of the Dewy Foundation from Anastasia, and then we're going to do a pump, we're going to pump you up of shade 17 of the Bellamy Luminous Foundation. I find this combination gives me the perfect color. Hi Kimberly, it gives me the perfect um, finish as well because if you know me, you know that I like the um, foundation to be a little bit more on the matte side. I completely just skipped color correcting so I'm not going to go by the eye so I'm really going to look a little crazy here for a second. Yeah. Ideally, you want to do color correcting underneath the eye, but I'm so excited because these primers are absolutely amazing. One has avocado oil in it, which means it is very moisturizing and has such a beautiful scent as well. And I love this. I love to do both the illuminating and the mattifying with the mattifying as the base as well, because what that does is it gives me a nice powdery finish to the luminous foundation and then I still get some outstanding glow um because you know your girl likes to think I was a disco ball in a former life so yeah and ideally you really should let the primer sit in it you know and absorb into your skin but it all works out it all balances out is what I find like in 10-15 minutes like it's just flawless and just absolutely gorgeous and I'm thrilled with it your skin looks nice and poreless that's why I really like to do the color correcting underneath but I forgot it's not the end of the world okay that's the thing with makeup there's no hard and fast rules you can really just kind of figure out what works for you and do you boo Okay, so I am um, going to take this, uh, what, what did they used to call these brushes? The oval brush. I'm going to spritz just a little bit because I really want this concealer to get tacky. And we're just going to see if we can go over it with some more concealer in a second. I don't want to over blend it because you can over blend it. And that's as bad as not blending it. And we're going to wet my sponge. And then blend it up under the eye. Because those under eye circles are really bad today. Because I was up till like 4 or 5 o'clock. After 5 o'clock this morning. And then I woke up thinking I had slept in. It was only 8 o'clock. It was only 8 o'clock. Like, girl, if you don't go back to sleep, but I couldn't. 
got up and did some cleaning and stuff and talked to a couple different family members and ooh wee look at that she's alive see and this is what I mean it's so funny like I made sure to put that primer on there and I know I went over my nose with the foundation but I can still see my freckles and I have to remember too again I forgot to put I knew I was forgetting something I knew I forgot to put more moisturizer but it's okay because the primers are very very moisturizing but um the Bellamy foundation is more of a medium a sheer to medium finish you know it's buildable I should say it's buildable to medium I wouldn't necessarily call it full coverage but I will tell you with when it's mixed with that mattifying primer on top of the mattifying primer it just gives this really like you you can see it like how it's settling down and it's looking more uh, what I want to say it's not a matte finish but it's a more smooth and perfected and um, consistent finish I really love it get some more concealer this is one of the tart shape tapes uh, I don't know what shade it is somebody gave it to me they bought it and it was too light for them or something I, I normally would use it for a contour but lately my thing is using a little bit of a darker shade in the middle of under the eye and then going in with a lighter shade this is from Smashbox Studio Skin also someone gave me this one to really highlight in the inner corner and the outer corner as well to give some lift that's that's you know that's what they're telling everybody on social media now like okay so y'all the ones who told us to do it the other way not many a years ago but a, a few many years ago and now because you're, you're getting older and the, it's it to me it's not the message it's the way that it's presented like y'all need to stop doing that don't do that that's so oh well sensei so we're just gonna blend that out. And it always looks really good initially, but then you know me. I always like to bring it up just a little bit more. Um, do a time check here. It's only 603, so we got plenty of time. I'm not doing a like overly glam look tonight. But I want to at least get eyebrows done quickly. And then we're gonna do some unboxing. Okay. So to do that, we're going to use some clear brow gel from Anastasia and kind of just shape the brows upward and outward because everybody's doing kind of the thicker brows. One of the things that's really happened with my um, makeup routine is, first of all, because of like everything, you know, being a social influencer and seller and all of that I noticed like by 2018 my, my makeup routine was just a lot more than I would do if I was actually going to work and so the great thing is 2020 actually kind of brought us back to that kind of look and so I'm really excited because every year over Memorial Day weekend and concluding on Memorial Day I do the summer glow makeup class so we can really have um, nice glowing bronzy bronzeado skin for summer and so I'm really excited about that this year because um, it's going to be amazing I mean it's amazing every year and like our Labor Day we always do a Labor Day event and Labor Day was just phenomenal last year with this new skincare and products like record breaking and I'm super excited for Labor Day, I mean for Memorial Day and that makeup class because we have so much more product than we did a year ago and even from Labor Day. It's going to be amazing some of the things we're going to talk about and do and so I'm working really, that's one of my projects lately is really working on that so we can bring you the value because people love my beauty classes. 
And again, I'm not a makeup artist, esthetician, dermatologist, or any of that, but I really do my homework and I bring you, I bring you the goods. I deliver. I deliver. I deliver and I declare. Now I'm looking a little bright-eyed and bushy-tailed, but before I do a little bit of contour, contour, I am going to, I talked to my friend Maureen yesterday, I love talking to her, she's hilarious. She's one of the ones who says contour. Okay, so we got a really nice stripe, sharp point. And we're just going to work these brows just a little bit, not overly. These little flickies, a little flick flick here, flick flick there, here flick there, flick. Everywhere flick flick. Brows are kind of the star of the face again. Because of everything that's been going on. It's been all about the eyes. It's one of the trends we'll talk about at 7 o'clock. So you'll definitely want to be there for that. If you want to be there on that live stream with us, you want to comment so we can get you the information. It's not easily accessible to the public. Because this information ain't for everybody. It ain't for everybody. That doesn't mean it's bad or anything. It just means it's not for everybody. Right? Okay, so we do that. And now, boys and girls, we are going to just come in here with the brush. See how I did that? Bring it down. Bring it, oh my god, that is that is really good. Okay, so one last thing and then I promise you we are going to get to this box because you've been waiting patiently. Muy paciente. And we are going to get to that box in, in uno momento, por favor. Okay? So we're going to just come here. Preliminary contour. Just bring this face down. A little bit. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Okay. And I know one of the things they talk about is where to place your contour and brush and how it's different. But it's like, y'all don't have these pudgy faces like I was born with. So this is what sis gotta do. Sis doing what sis gotta do. You do what you gotta do over there, boo boo. You do what you gotta do over there. Okay, let's so come down here and really erase that double chin. I'd love to come along the actual jawline just lightly, just to square up my face a little bit. Sometimes it, I don't know, I, like the YouTube camera especially will make it look um, a little asymmetrical and weird, and I don't like that. No me gusta. I don't know why I'm in a Spanish mood today, but. Oh, yeah. So we thin the face up just a little bit. And I really like to make that look like it's coming from within the skin. 